Kadar coming back on Dungey down the inside in wow. the first turn and makes the move on the rider who won the opener two weeks ago. So Kadar showing the speed he had in practice translates over to the motos. Well, he showed us that that, that Faust's lap was no fluke. Oh, Woo! and Dungey and Kanard almost touched there. That Good was close. hard racing. Good hard oh, racing. <laughs> and they almost touch again as they drop back downhill. Kennard means business, and they have pushed themselves right to the rear fender of short. You would think they just got the two-lap car the way these guys are going, but <laughs> hey, you got to make it when you can because sitting behind a guy, it's okay if he's a leader and you're in second, but if you, Ryan Dungey and Trey Kennard, they're knowing, they can see James Stewart disappearing in the distance, so you get that sense of urgency because once James Stewart's gone, he's a hard man to catch. Yeah, and it's really hard to gauge what you're going to get from Stewart. Obviously, not the Stewart we expected the first couple of motos, but any day you could stumble on the right combination and could get away, and that's what he's doing right now. So I don't think they're taking that lightly. Dungy trying to set up short under the uh, Red Bull arch. Here we go, Dungy on the inside, the two KTM riders in orange, and then Grant in front of him on the Yamaha. Dungy follows him there, but swings out to the outside. Can he? He's going to go the long way around. Is it going to work out? Wow! I, I didn't think it would, but it did. So well, Dungy is up to third. You're not going to pass following someone, and that was a tough spot to make a pass, but maybe Andrew Short giving him just a little bit of breathing room while I'll take that back, because Andrew Short yeah. goes right back by Ryan Dungy. He said, I don't care if we're on KTMs. 